Hello, this is a review of the Apicorn hard drive upgrade kit. Now, if you bought a hard drive, especially a solid state drive, that didn't come with a data migration kit to help you migrate from your existing hard drive with operating system to your new drive, and you didn't want to completely reinstall Windows or be left to your own devices, this does a great job giving you a cable to transfer from SATA to USB and the software included to help make it as easy as possible. I had a SanDisk Extreme SSD, which is practically OEM. It didn't come with anything at all. Um, just the bare drive itself and pretty useless instructions. You're left to your own devices on that. So if you're fed up like I was with trying to deal with shrinking partitions and backing up as an image and restoring it and then resizing the image and hoping Windows would work, um, give up on that and this is supposed to do all of that handiwork for you. Do make sure that you download the latest software so the disk they include may not be the latest. For example, when you look at the back of the package, it says it includes Apricard Easy Gig 3. But actually included in my version, I can clearly see it's Easy Gig version 4. So do yourself a favor, go to Apricorn's website first and double check. It's a free download. Um, it only works with their adapters, so um, you can just download it for free though. All right, what you get is the following after you open the annoying clamshell packaging like most things come in. But basically you get this cable here. It's a SATA to USB 2.0, so basically you connect your SATA cable to the SATA connections on your hard disk drive or solid state drive and the USB 2 into your computer. And then in here, remember you get your software, which you could always go and download the latest version from the website as well. And inside here are the instructions. And now you really could almost do this on your own without the instructions. But notice they give you Mac instructions and they give you Windows instructions. But basically it boils down to this. Plug this into your computer, to the hard drive, um, either run directly from Windows or Mac and clone it live while the operating system is running right on the drive, or plug in the bootable CD, or the one you burned from the later version download, um, in your computer, restart the computer, and run the process. By the way, they actually recommend that you run it from within Windows if your computer is running normally, and only need to run it from CD, bootable CD, if the computer is not running normally. There's even a much more detailed user guide, a 31-page user guide that you can download from the Apricorn website. And it contains 31 pages of a lot more graphic detail with pictures and more explanations for all the steps that is significantly more than just the package insert. Now remember, these are internal SATA connectors, so be especially careful because they're going to be more prone to electrostatic shock and other things because uh, they're designed for internal use in your computer. So now connect the SATA connection with the SATA port on your disk drive. And it's easier to connect if you set them both down and slide the connectors together. Now connect the USB connector to a USB port on your computer. Now these are USB 3 ports because they're blue, but you can connect this USB 2 cable to it and it'll just run at USB 2 speeds. Alright, and now we're connected. You should see a message on your Windows that would say something like this, installing new drive and then ready for use, and then once it's ready, go ahead and run the EasyGig software. After you launch it, you'll see a screen like this, and then just click the Start EasyGig 4 button. And now let's click the Let's Get Started button, and it starts detecting, searching for drives. It should have detected two drives, one your existing hard drive that you want to migrate from, and the USB cable connecting to your new hard drive or solid state drive that you want to migrate to. Now it'll only show a second drive if you actually are using the Apricorn cable or hard disk bay that they sell. Um, so in my case I'm moving from a 500 gigabyte existing hard disk drive to my 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Now select the source drive, but be very careful. You want to get your source and target in the right order here. So I want to move from my existing 500 gigabyte hard disk drive, so I've selected that. Now you can immediately click next to move on or you could stop and run a speed test if you like and it will help it estimate the amount of time based on the speed of the current drive. And there we have speed test results which should help it figure out how long we want to take to migrate. So we've selected our source drive and I'm going to click next. Now it wants me to pick a destination drive. So definitely pick the drive that is at the end of the USB cable that you want to connect it to. to so in my case it's my 120 gigabyte solid state drive then go ahead and click speed test or next. And I can see on the USB cable it writes at about a third the speed as the read speed of my existing SATA connection on my existing hard disk drive. So now I've selected my target destination drive and I'm clicking next. 
All right, now you need to confirm your selections just to be extra sure that you got the correct source and target destination drive. So in my case, again, my existing 500 megabyte hard disk drive and my target SATA wire, which is the Apricorn cable, to my new 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Now remember, you're going to want to double check your advanced options right here um, to make sure that it detected and is going to align for your um, solid state drive. And as you can see, this version of the software already detected and knows that it needs to use 4K alignment for the solid state drive. I think it's really cool that the drive already knows to automatically deal with partitions for you so that you don't have to do any of that heavy lifting yourself. It'll deal with all the resizings that, that it needs to do. I also think it's really nice that if your existing data is too large to fit on the target destination drive, it does have a data select feature to help you to pare down this, the data that you're going to copy. And now we're just going to click the next button. And we're pretty much ready to go. It's going to get ready to start copying as soon as we click the start copy button. And once more, you're going to get a final confirmation. Here's your source drive, here's your target drive. Once you click this start copying, things are going to get overwritten. All right, we're off and copying, and it'll have more useful information later once it finishes analyzing the hard drive. And now it's estimated the amount of time remaining, so I have about 51 minutes to go at the current transfer rate. So I have about 90 gigabytes on my existing hard disk drive that is transferring. But beware that even when it hits zero time remaining, it just goes into another phase. Um, it begins this process of auto expanding, a finishing process to let you use the full size of your new hard drive. So what it probably did was shrink your existing data and partition to be as small as it can be so that it can be migrated over onto a smaller hard drive. And then once it moves the smaller partition over, it can then expand that to the full capacity of your new but smaller hard drive. All right, and now we're done, at least with the copy. And then all we have to do is swap the hard drives and see if everything works. I can go back to my Windows Explorer and go to Properties. And I can see that my existing drive was using 89.3 gigs. Open the new drive, which is still connected via that USB cable, and I can access it. I can see that it's now has 88.8 .8 gigabytes there. Now you'll notice there's a half gigabyte less. I'm not overly worried about that because the operating system was running while it was happening. Compared to the freeware software, like the Macrium um, Free Edition, I ended up with 10 gigs less and the Windows image didn't work. All right, and now it's working great. Uh, from the time that I enter in my hard drive password to the time Windows boots up has been really fast, much faster than my hard drive had been before. And basically it's working. Um, I haven't had any problems yet with the migrated software. Windows has moved over and it's working just fine. And just to make sure it's booting off the right thing, I just removed my existing hard disk drive and uh, tomorrow I'll connect it back in as a secondary drive. So overall I'm really happy with it. I think it's been, I think it's going to be great. Yep, there we go. One thing to note is that the first time you go to log back into Windows after you boot up for the first time, it's going to take a little bit longer and then come back with a prompt that says, please restart your computer now. Basically, I think Windows realized something has changed and fixed whatever it needed to and it just needs you to reboot. The next time you reboot, quickly come back to here, log in, and you're not going to have any problems at all. Many thanks to the Apricorn cable and software. It really worked like a charm. I did exactly what I needed, migrated the drive, the, so the operating system, and works like a charm. It's so much better than my experience when left to my own devices to follow internet instructions on and freeware.